Some people think it's funny, some people think it's odd, but everybody thinks that Corbin smells just like a pod. A what? A pod. <laughs> it's fart in Hindi and Bengali. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. <laughs> it's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. Nick Fultz. Instagram, Twitter, Follow us on personal YouTube channel. Link in the description below. It's become unintelligible. You saw the thumbnail. You're not hallucinating. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is a review for Doom 3. Yes. I'm sure you'll be equally satisfied. Uh, obviously, we are uh, doing a movie review of the Hindi uh, 2008 film, Joda. Akbar. Which we actually have seen before, kind of, because we've seen every musical number from it. <laughs> so you really don't need to see the movie after you've seen the musical numbers. No. That's just what we'll tell everybody from now on. Uh, directed by, say his name? Uh, uh, Ashutosh Gowarakar. Who also directed Swades and... Um, Which, Lagan. for those of you who don't know, that's Swadesh. We yeah, know. and Lagan. And Lagan. Uh, and uh, starring and composed starring by starring Rajesh Vivek and Shaji Chaudhary. <laughs> <laughs> it was so great to see those guys again. You love seeing him, don't I you? Especially love seeing Rajesh. I don't know what From it is. From Lagan, right? Yeah, yeah, man, he makes me happy to see him. <laughs> anyway, uh, starring Rithik Roshan and Ashwarya Rai Bakshan. Yeah, uh, two uh, terribly unfortunate unattractive. people. Very, very unattractive people. <laughs> I mean, throughout the movie, you're not wanting just... Did you find yourself the whole time going, just make a baby already? Yeah. We want to see what that baby looks like. I think we said that multiple times. Make a baby. <laughs> Regardless, it's came out two days, Nate. I'm sure most of you have seen this film. If you haven't, uh, it's on Netflix for us. If you have three and a half hours, uh, go watch it. time. <laughs> go watch it. In fact, if you fast forward the songs, it's probably a good uh, two and a half. Yeah, you could knock out some time by fast... But you're not going to want to. No. You're not going to want to fast forward You don't want to fast forward those songs, man. No. Uh, regardless. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, go watch it uh, and uh, come back unless you want to be spoiled. And I think most of you have already mm. seen the film. So. Mm -hmm. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. I'm wondering if we have another DevDoss on our hands. Uh-huh. That was my thought when I was what'd watching you, it. What did you think about it? Okay. So aside from the sword play and the fight scenes... Which even then, for some reason, I was okay with it. I loved it. <laughs> We've got another DevDoss, don't we? No, I liked it too. Oh, you did? Okay, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> no, I, okay, I did have problems. It's, it's got and, some flaws. And, it's and, got flaws. And, and, and I'm sure you can already know some of the things that I'm going to point out. But overall, even I could have gotten through this entire thing in one sitting. Did you, how many sittings did you do? I, I did it uh, I did it in two. I started it, um, I watched an hour and a half of it last night and then finished the rest of it today. So uh, I, did it, I did it in two sittings. We watched it, uh, I think, starting Friday night after Leland went down, because I, I, we have to watch stuff when Leland is asleep. There's no way we can yeah, watch anything can. while he's awake. Absolutely. He's too, too busy. Um, so we, we started it, but uh, <laughs> we got, I think, two hours 40 in and i was i was into it and i was like i could finish it but i started to get a little drowsy a little and so i was like i don't want to like accidentally fall asleep or miss something no that's what that's what was happening to me yeah. it, the time i started it last night it was late and i was getting sleepy and i thought i'm not going to force myself i don't want to miss i want to enjoy this yeah so, so oh poor leland uh <laughs> He heard what you said about uh, the fact that you can't watch movies when he's awake. That's he's true. Offended. That's true. Um, so that's, that says a lot about a three and a half hour film that I was like, I could watch this entire thing in one sitting. That's very few films that can, it, that can do that. It gave me what I was wanting. Yeah. From, from all we've seen with the numbers and expecting, it was the historic epic I was hoping it would be. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and we'll get into the, the issues I have, but for the most part, I've really enjoyed this film. This director just knows how to make a good movie. Yeah. He, like, Lagan, Swades, this. They're just, it, they all have flaws, but they're just all entertainers, man. They, they really all, are. They keep your it, attention, and that says a lot. And one of my most favorite things about the direction of this film is, the, is a collaborative effort that's with him and his production design and art direction. Mm -hmm. Because 
I'm not a big fan of um, lighter pale colors like the light yellows and the yeah. oranges and the whites mm -hmm. for that amount of time. <sighs> for him to have created what he did and the, what the team did with basically majority of the shots were just plain daylight. Mm -hmm. He didn't, it wasn't Sanjay Lila Bansali lights and color and framings, but it was no less beautiful to me. In yeah. fact, in many ways, a different level of kind of beauty because that, that is a really difficult thing to pull off. Mm -hmm. for, for three hours worth of stimulation for you to be watching, it carried this, 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 the element of what the art direction and the production team had put together I really can't say enough about their use of color and their use of natural lighting that mm -hmm. a lot of other directors, you'd be just bored spitless and go, this this is so nothing, but it, it was everything. I thought it was yeah, gorgeous. I, I think um, the direction was really, really, and that's obviously what we'll talk about first. Um, he, he, once again, knows how to make a, a really entertaining film. And I'm glad they focused more on the relationship mm, than, yes. than the battles, which yes. was one of the things we'll get into later because Obviously, to, to make, I don't want to get into it now. Uh, <laughs> we'll get into the, that's one of the issues I had, uh, and I'm sure you did as well. Uh, it was any of the action scenes, um, but we'll get into that later. But he focused on the, the love story, story right. between, which I think at the end, Amitak Bakshan said it's, it, there was nothing really written about these two. Apparently so. Yeah, and there's um, lots of stories. I loved how at the very beginning they gave the disclaimer that said, you know, we're not saying that this is the story. There's probably a bunch of different stories. Yeah. Um, also, I'm gonna sneeze. The grass pollen has been really brutal today. So if I sneeze 47 times, <laughs> it isn't coronavirus, it's the grass pollen. It's coronavirus. Um, but yeah, <laughs> there it is. Gross. Um, but yeah, so I thought he, he did a really good job building that relationship yeah. uh, with the two. And so let's talk, this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite performance from Rithik. Uh, there, there were certain aspects of the way it was directed that I sometimes had an issue with in terms of, I'll get into that. Uh, but in terms of his performance, I thought for the most part, he gave a really subtle, really good performance. I agree. Uh, and I liked it a lot like this. And then I'd say probably super 30. Uh, or the, or it was, yeah, I, I have a, I have a, there's a much more entertaining film than Super 30. Yeah, I don't know what it is about his, I don't know what it is about the Deborah film that, that I love so oh, yeah, much, but that, that, that for me is probably, I would put it Deborah Joe to Akbar, Super Deluxe, mm -hmm. I, mean, for, I mean, Super 30, Super Deluxe. <laughs> Rizik was in Super, super Deluxe? 30. He was, he was the alien. He was still good, <laughs> they didn't even know, he was <laughs> that alien. Um, so I agree with you. I felt, yeah, the other thing I love, which is a, which is a credit to the direction, I loved how everybody carried themselves, particularly since the majority of the story is told within the regality of the court. Mm -hmm. Everybody carried themselves and delivered their dialogue with what would be not an affectation to convey the, the, the dramaturgy, but, but an affectation of what regal status you would imagine carried in the 16th century. Yeah. yeah? Uh, and Ashwarya. Ah, uh, come on, John. Uh, she's always wonderful, but she was especially wonderful in this. She 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 gave uh, a really great performance, equal to I think Gersnatch, which was also Rithik. Exactly. Uh, if you don't know Gersnatch, yet, then sorry. Um, but I think she gave a really good, uh, powerful performance, and you genuinely really cared for these characters. You're like, yeah. I want them to be together. Yep, sure did. <laughs> and yep. so that that was really really good because obviously this huge conflict uh, of you know different religions at the, at the same time yeah. and, and a bunch of different factors. And I thought they did a really, really good job of building that. I'm, I missed her eyes. I know we were being historical, Yeah. but when you, when you have- Oh, and she was crying sometimes. I know, I know. When you, when you have two of the arguably most beautiful people to yeah. ever be on screen- Some Gorgeous people. Um, and not just their faces, but their eyes. Yeah. They are arguably the most beautiful male and female eyes to ever be on screen. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Um, you, the whole time you're like, okay, make babies. <laughs> Just make the babies. We want to see what your babies look like. Uh, and I geeked out mm. on... Okay, when we reacted to the song mm. where it's the consummation of them sharing yes. their love for each other, yeah, 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 yeah. it was beautiful to watch. But to see it in the context of the film and yeah. build to it... Yeah, it was I, great. I geeked. Did I you? loved it. I I actually oh, when we post this review on my Instagram, I'm going to post because I recorded myself geeking out to the moment, 
<laughs> and I sent it I sent it to Indrani because it was everything I wanted it to be. And one of my favorite lines in the whole film, and I really hope this was a word for word translation from the Hindi, mm -hmm. when she said, I love you. And then she said, do you feel the same? Mm -hmm. His words were, I love you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was, it was perfect. I yeah. loved it. it A.R. Rahman's music, man. He's going to go... He's going places. <laughs> I hope he got more work after this. The score. Yeah. But that song in particular, all the songs Obviously, are Obviously, the song, The Twirling Dervishes, I love uh, seeing it again. That's such a great one. The song praising him as the emperor is great yeah. with the drums. And so, yeah. Yeah, it was all great. The <sighs> cinematography, the, 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 the set design. Gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Let's start with some of the supporting actors. It was a bunch, but your yeah. guy, what's his name? Yeah, the two, the two guys. My guy from Lagan, who I just, I just love his face, man, is, is uh, Rajas Vivek. Rajesh Vivek from Lagan, right? From Lagan, where we first saw him. And I wanted, I was like, where is he? I want to see him some more. I just, I love his screen presence. I love his face. And then obviously, you know who Shaji Chowdhury is, right? Mm, hold on. Which one was he? Well, he had an even smaller role in this. Was that McBool? No. No. No, it's uh, Mirzapur, our guy we love, who's the right hand man bodyguard. McBool. Of, he was. Yes, that's his yes, name. that's right, McBool. His yes, name his McBool. name is, I thought you, when you said McBool. He wasn't I, in it very much. I thought though. you meant the movie McBool. No, no, no. No, yeah, the character. He wasn't Christopher. in this very much. No, he wasn't, but he was there. Yeah. Yeah. It was so cool it was good to see to, him. Cool to see him. So yeah, I thought that, I thought the, um, the girl who wasn't his mother, but played the mother. The sorry. nurse, the nursemaid? Yeah. I thought she did a really good job. I, I did too. I liked her character. I mean, I didn't like her character, but I liked what she did. Mm -hmm. She was very, very believable. Yeah, I also thought... Um, the brother? The brother. I thought he was really... He, he, looked, really very, he looked almost like a Bakchan. <laughs> I kept looking at him thinking, okay, I know it's not Abhishek Bakchan, but man, he looks like a Bakchan, especially around the eyes. Is that Sonu... Yes, yeah, Sonu Sod. Yeah, very Bakchanich. He, he could the play, I'm a, I mean, uh, Abhishek Bakchan's brother. brother yeah. Like, that, that's, my wife was like, is that Bigby's son? And I had to look it up. I was like, I don't think so. I knew it wasn't, but it was enough that I thought, that's not Abhishek Bakchan, but man, he looks like a Bakchan. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, I thought he did a great so job. He did a really good job. Everybody as a whole did a really good job. The Some of the issues uh, I took were the action, I think you mentioned at the beginning, um, obviously that's just not where they put their money and when you don't put the enough money yeah. at, at, on a battle scene or, or in a fight scene it just looks not as good as it should and, and I like the fact that it didn't look bad no like the, the big the big fight sequence where you've got a battle with a lot of soldiers in the beginning and the end yeah. Uh, I love they had a lot of background people and they had a lot of costuming and horses and it was epic and I loved that um, I, the thing, closer stuff. it was the closer one-on-one -on -one stuff. Okay. So his fight with the elephant, the, his, his breaking the elephant, yeah. the sword play that Ashwarya had both with the guy she was fighting with and then with him. Yeah. And then the final fight he had, um, at the end, yeah. I just, the, the, the sword play and the stunt work was very lacking. Yeah. And they were doing their ample best, yeah. I think, but, but like I said, I, that's excusable. why I'm glad they I was right when it opened and it was a big battle. I was like, I'm hoping they're going to, and I, that's what I thought the movie was more about the relationship yeah. than any of the big battles. Yeah, that, I wasn't expecting a battle. So I was like, okay, so I'm assuming this is just going to be a little part. And it, that, that's what, that was the case. And so I didn't obviously knock it that much. Huh. There was some other melodramatic stuff that, you know, it just gets me, especially when anything was revealed. <laughs> like any like big shock and Rithik is watching. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. I'm like, why? Okay, you don't to, do that. So you need to know something. That is so cliched and has been cliched for so long in American cinema that in the film High Anxiety, Mel Brooks's film, which came out in 1977, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. they specifically, when a moment like that happens, there's moments where Mel Brooks is in the elevator with his buddy and mm -hmm. they say something revelatory and the orchestra goes, and the two guys go like this. <laughs> 1977. So having melodramatic music accentuate something has been so cliche and funny for us for so long that to see it in a 2008 film, your inclination is to go, oh, good grief. But 
It didn't Luckily, bother me as much as other films. And it wasn't in most of the films. It only happened three or four times. Yeah, so like there were, there were times and you know, that's the one thing that always gets me. No matter which film, which region, anything, I don't care if it's Hollywood, Bollywood, yeah. Mollywood, I don't care. If there is melodramaticness, I'm not going to like it. Yeah. <laughs> now, and when it Not the film, but that, that part. When in it, some films, like what well, we said in Drishim 2, it was all it's throughout the much. film. And that's, what's, that's what got us. Yeah. <laughs> it's one thing for it to happen two or three times. It's another yeah. for every revelatory statement to have it. Yeah. Um, like it did in Drishim yeah, 2. Yeah. Uh, the, and as far as the... Um, I felt this way about the fight sequences that mm -hmm. were the one-on-one -on -one kind of thing that yeah. just didn't work well. Yeah. So, if you know if you watch a show at Disneyland... Uh, any of the live shows that they do mm. and there's a fight sequence on the stage yeah. and it doesn't look really good yeah. but you don't care because you're at Disneyland no. yeah. that's how I felt with yeah, this absolutely. Yeah. I would, I would 100% watch this again and yeah, I, absolutely. I, I can see why people I think that's what was said to us uh, in any song reactions all those song reactions we did and the trailers that like it's a good film it's long but it's good. Yeah. Uh, and that I would say that as well. I would definitely, if this was on, I would absolutely sit. Oh, and, I would and have it love on and, to and, be and, in that world again. And, and watch it. I would yeah. absolutely do that. The the length, this director is just good. Because Lagan, Sweat, Swadesh, and this, all almost three and a half hours, all of them, and keep but your, all keep are engaged. engaged and good films. So yep. the dude likes long films. But at least he does it well. Absolutely. So that's that's an impressive feat. It's a very impressive feat to get you to want to just sit in a world like that for hours on end and be okay with it. Normal films here in Hollywood, you have to be Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, oh, Marvel, yeah. in, in order to be, be that length. Because, it, give you an example, the last really long film that oh, came out course. was, well, no, it was Scorsese's oh, film. The Irishman. The yeah. Irishman. Oh. That... Everybody pretty much across the board was like, okay, shoot me now. Stop it, Marty. And he did the same thing with, uh, what was the one that takes place in Japan? Oh, Silence. Silence. Yeah. We love that film, but yeah. again, it was like, Way too come long. to an end with the film, Marty. I mean, yeah. you're just, what are you doing? And you never get that with this director. No. Uh, at least in these three films. Nope. Uh, so uh, I, I absolutely uh, thank you guys for being patient. Yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> and, well, and I got I got to say this too. I was so <laughs> after the climactic love song. Right. Mm -hmm. I looked at the time on the film. Didn't Johnny like this film? Did she? Like yeah, it? she liked this yeah. film a lot. She said, she said you're gonna. This film is about the love story, mm -hmm. and you're gonna love the chemistry with the Shwari and Rhythm. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's gonna be about. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, she loves this film. Uh, but I saw there was like 30 minutes left in the film mm -hmm. and I started getting really bothered uh, by the prospect of if you kill one of these two people, I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> I probably would have loved that. You would have loved it. It's like, <laughs> if either Joda or Akbar die. I didn't so much like the scene where her prayers got him back to life. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I will tell you, I, I let out a... <laughs> Another thing I did like, and I felt this way throughout the film, and it, it was kind of a through message that was happening without being a, a heavy-handed thing, was, you know, everybody could really take a lesson from one of the lines that uh, Rithik has toward the end, as we're bringing an end to the story, and he's talking about, don't you guys say anything bad about my wife? Yeah. We've built a temple for her, and we're going to respect it. Um, I... The the level of empathy and inclusion and respect where his line, this isn't verbatim, but he basically says, in my kingdom, there's going to be respect for all beliefs. Mm -hmm. it, just because someone has a different religious belief than you doesn't mean that we're going to be antagonistic toward each other. Yeah. That's a message that can still resonate today. It's needed today all uh, over the world. All over the world. Uh, from In every different religion. Yeah. Um, so it's. It, I think they definitely had a really good uh, message behind it. It really did. And I, you just got to love watching Rithik and Ashwarya. They, uh, have, they have perfect chemistry. They were made... Uh, there's a saying about, you know, the camera loves certain people. Oh, it definitely loves them. Yeah, and then there's a whole other level of love. Um... There's, sincerely, there, I would tell anybody, one of the reasons you want to watch stuff from India, among the millions of reasons, is because Rithik Roshan and Ashwari Rai Bakchan are two of the, if not arguably, the most cinematically beautiful people to ever grace the screen. They Absolutely. just were made to be on screen. And 
I really applaud, we've said this and we noticed it about Ashwarya. I've called her the hardest working woman in, in Bollywood with what the stuff that she does. Um, but I really felt, I'd love to know what Rithik put into this because I feel like from what we saw, I feel like he poured everything of his heart and soul into trying to get this right. I think so too. Right? Yeah. I, I really That's why felt, I say it, it might be my favorite performance of his. Yeah, I mean, it, it, when all is said and done, I would probably point to this because there's something about his effort in every way, the physicality of the character, uh, the regality, the way he carried himself, the emotion in his eyes that was always genuine. In fact, you know, we loved her in Gersnatch. Mm -hmm. I had moments of questioning where yeah, he was. He, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I felt that he really applauded. I, this is probably my favorite Rithik performance. Yeah. Uh, after you get down to it, well, obviously when you see a lot more of Rithik, um, but, Thank you guys once again for being patient with us. Uh, hope you are satisfied, <laughs> even though if we didn't like it, we still would have told you. <laughs> and those of you waiting for Bahubali 2, don't give up. <laughs>